am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. That was so His surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm His in class. Everything's cool. Room. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torched. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. I Plus, it's and I have to get my daily I selfie quota. In a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of I her I can't work. believe I still have this pencil prefer... case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Me too, Victor. But I like it old school. He captured the essence of post-war beat America, and there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank I do was love my analog camera. And both were the I should take a quick picture now. Of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I 
I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everyone. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Everybody should have a chance. I only right. want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. This might make a cool shot. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson that's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith, good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. 
to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images, but I still dig my little instant camera. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Like you you Welcome always to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jerry What's the point of even coming to class? Anyway, she plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I wish October would last forever. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. I wonder what actually happened to her. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry GM tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Here's Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. That's when I fly. Miss Grant is a great science teacher.
empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy?
Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get shit. that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. In I already world. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now to Kate shadow. is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, now, shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Anybody? Max, don't Hi, freak out. Arvis. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Check one more thing. Because of Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. When I took my selfie, Jefferson she asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll bullshit. know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Still the same stupid Seriously, picture. I could frame so everything seems the same as before. Capture you in a moment of desperation. 
And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not course, dreaming this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. Who knows their Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. Why is this happening? Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Hey, thanks for the follow, homie. You know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important call. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the 
butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Run. Put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control I need a me. hammer to break it open! Hella more- Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk- Let me make sure this gets shot. Okay. You are going to get in hella more ever. trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Act natural. I don't smell any smoke. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped wow. me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Ooh, spicy. Do we want to report him or do we want to tell the truth? Do we have any input for this? Report him. Okay, we'll report him. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything, he was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down, slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there, it's the girls' room. I know, I know, I just wanna be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion Later, in my office, please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story?
Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Wonder what happened. She's missing though. She do be missing. All right. Onward. It's got a bird on his head. I bet the Black Wolf founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body <laughs> walking cats? around like zombies on their phones. God bless America, bro. That was funny. This is a great image. <laughs> All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody... I better read uh, Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Oh, wow. Oh, he's texting a lot. so fast i might have to rewind this shit okay uh oof. scroll up do you want me for coffee after school i can excuse some study please i need to make make sure you check out necromantic on my flash drive well, ha, ha, ha. hey man max let's bust shit up wait i have to study for a physics test so if we bust anything we also have to measure its velocity don't ignore this message hi max can you get Flash drive, I need some info in space. Hello, sir. Any late in Sunday? I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. So you'll see. Uh, my camera will, will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I want to take a picture of the bird. Cool. Oh, God. you could have gone around me. Jeez, pushing me around and shit. Howdy, Justin. Speak. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? Hell yeah, we did. Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh, jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a oh, simple no slide no. or a trade flip, you should walk on. I don't want to be a poser. Speak. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? Yes, we did. I came to no I slide. I came to no boy. slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Not a poser today. Nah, I just can't skateboard shit. I can't. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you wanna see? Mm, what do we wanna see? No slide or tray flip? We could rewind, we could do one and then rewind and then see the other. Tray flip, or tray, tray flip. flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Let's go, Trevor. Oh, oh, oh no, ooh. homie racked himself. You okay, Trev? Oh, we're gonna take a picture of his pain. Same thing when he does a nose slide. Poor guy. Ooh. Yo, Justin. Check out the mat. Come to thrash? We came to thrash. I came to nose slide. Do a nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skateboard shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Hell yeah, let's do a no slide. I'd love to see a no slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Let's go, Trevor. Wow, he did it. No pain, yeah. no gain. We don't want to be that that homie that you know takes pictures of homies and their pain. Now they don't remember it, but we still have the photograph. What else we got around here? Oh, what's up, Brooke? What you doing? How? Oh, howdy. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? She sounds really upset about it. So let's... Do we want to? Or do we just ask her if it's legal? For my lawyers in the chat. What do we think? 
I want to say it is legal, but I don't know. I guess it depends on the school policy. Because I think it's a private campus, so it, I think they have to have... She's being rude. Ask if it's legal. Is, is that really legal? yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, Wait. you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, Ooh. step back. Ooh. That was... <laughs> that was so rude, bro. What's in your bag? I'm looking in your bag. Excuse me, ma'am. Search. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Okay, it's a high fly B400 Evo. It's got HD cameras, easy. I can't read the box. It's for 14 year olds and up. Ooh, that did something. Howdy, partner. Speak. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Ooh, it's a high fly drone. That looks drone. like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. <laughs> I searched Drones your bag. Are perfect for that, you didn't especially notice. those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Yeah, because I can time travel, bitch. Oh, hey, there's Mrs. Grant. I heard she's cool. Um. <laughs> dive bomb. So, what have we learned today? Today we have learned that Max is a poser of all things because now, of her time travel, she knows more than she knew before. And also, she can make people <laughs> really motion sick with this drone. The lens is super dirty, by the way. Like, super dirty. Oh. Thank you, Brooke. Take better care of your drone. And we, I can see that it's hit the ground a couple times with how dirty your lens is. What's up, Hayden? How's it going? Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Oof. Not the most. Not the most. What is the Vortex Club? Tell what me the hell more is the it. Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in, and it doesn't hurt your resume. That is true. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Uh... You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy, like, you know. Uh, tell me about Rachel. So, you knew you know Rachel Amber. Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Thank you for that one. Uh, I forgot his name already. Uh, what happened what to her, What do you brother? think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Awesome. Did, Did Victoria, Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's <laughs> voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Fuck the haters, bro. 
Fair, Fair enough, enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is fucking hilarious when he's blazed. When he's and blazed. And he does always have the best shit. Let's talk later, Hayden. Hi, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. That sounds like a terrible idea. All right, what's next? What's next? Okay, missing person poster. It's a lot of it. What is this? Howdy. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. <laughs> Me too. The big, do the Bigfoot stomp. Best slice. Knock it out. Well, okay. Missing person. Oh, howdy, Mrs. Grant. How's it going? Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Let's hear her out. Let's hear her out. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Hmm. Let's talk about David, because David was kind of rude to us David in the Madsen hallway. doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble <laughs> heritage. She's a from the Native Americans who founded student, this bro. land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. You sure do you know, know a lot, lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. Ooh. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Mm. Shall we sign the petition about the cameras, or shall we not sign the petition about adding cameras? Homie said I said what I said. All right. All right, sir. What are we thinking? Sign it? Is that the consensus of the... You know what? Yeah, let's sign it. Absolutely. Don't I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. surveillance I knew you bad. were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Oh, we're already the favorite. This action will have consequences. Signing the petition? Shall we let it stay signed? I, th I think it's an alright idea. I think it's okay. Howdy, do you speak? Nope. Do you speak? Howdy, Daniel. You do speak. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, I'd be Daniel. honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Everybody's obsessed with the missing girl. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. <laughs> I don't like his random whispers while he's drawing. Best portrait that's ever. That's pretty good, dude. This action will have consequences. 
Daniel, what are you going to do with it? Homie. Thanks, Max. I'd like to draw you another time if you want. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Damn it, Daniel. This action will have consequences. How bad could the consequences be, though? Clever. Vortex Club. Cool. Howdy, Luke. Speak. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him. Did we... I busted him today with a gun. Yeah. What? Seriously? Yeah, gun, Luke, I crazy. saw him wave a gun around today, and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Fuck Zachary for being a little bitch. Let's look at the photo album. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. Uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Can we ask him? Let's hey, ask Evan. Him. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. Ooh. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Ooh. Do we know this? Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Um, I think it was Robert, uh, voice, uh, voice new, voice nail, could have been Robert Kappa. Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh, Dorno. oh my. You can't oh, even tell no. the difference between street photography and photojournalism. I'm sorry. No portfolio peak for you. Okay, no, we gotta go back. We gotta see the man's portfolio. All right, eek. Hey, Evan, mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. Oh, let's go. This okay. quiet child knows things. We know things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. He is so uptight, though. Let's read it. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is uh, mesmerizing. Everybody really likes Rachel here. Can we flip pages or is it just... Great pictures. They look fantastic. Amazing. Um, cool. So we did that. Anybody else to talk to here? Talk to Luke. Let's go to the dorms and grab... The, uh... The flash drive for Warren. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. <laughs> bring it, brah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Look at all the construction. It reminds me of Ole Miss. <laughs> Yeah. Can I throw the football? Hey, speak. Speak. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Aw. No, Ube. No. Hello, Zachary. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Oh, step off. 
recycle this, Luke. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. It looks like a trash can. It doesn't even have symbols on it. It's Sweet. red. Howdy, Kate. How are you doing? Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down, You look friend. down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Awesome. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. Oh, dude, she says howdy, too. Um, let's see. Yeah, what's with What's the up with these Rachel Amber posters? Oh, only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. <laughs> okay. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prism? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. Awesome. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. I don't. I kind of don't like his nice, voice. It kind of. It's kind of creepy. Mm. Nope. You have to get like right up on people to look and talk to them. Oh shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Yeah, they do. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. The selfie hoe? Okay. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You no. could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Ain't is oh, wait. a word. Hold that pose. Awesome. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? That oh yes, Victoria. I'll get clever, your bony ass out of my way. But also, why fruit? Um, let's see. Rachel owes me money. Yep, okay. Let's see. How, how old do you, oh, okay. I just, you can't rewind anything. Okay, cool. There's a squirrel. Howdy, squirrel. Nice. I guess we're on a mission. Okay. Oh. Cool. Look. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. We did it. Cool. Awesome. But like. Oh, what's going on? Make art, not war. Can I take a picture awesome. of the squirrel now? No. Howdy, partners. Can I walk in now? No? Okay, what's the- oh, thank you. Let's do- Let's see. T. 
tamper with the bucket. Smell an opportunity to dump paint on these bitches. Yeah, okay, let's, let's see if this let's works. Go. Okay, so now let's hit the sprinklers. Use. Get what off the, the hell? stairs. Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. Water Somebody on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? That's you look why great. I can't even chill on the steps. Yeah. Oh, I like that guitar sound. No way! That is no fucking rough. way, Victoria. Oh, Sam, you're sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell Paris away from me, weirdo. Not good for her. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yo. <laughs> Somebody wrote poo awesome. on the door. What does this say? Welcome to Sluts R Us. Amazing. But I really want to know if I can take a picture of this squirrel. Like, it's... It's like on my list. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Cool. I like squirrels. Let's talk to this 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 hoe. Speak. Uh hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Ooh, this looks like it could have some consequences. Because of the way it is. Do we make fun of her or do we comfort her? Should we be nice to her just to Or should should we just should we just be mean back? What are we thinking? Make fun of her, prepared to go back. Okay, cool. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now, please move. I've had a messed up day, and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Oh, we just got a Maybe death Maybe I shouldn't have brother. done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. I don't know how I feel about threats. No. Can, can we rewind? Let's see. Let's see what she says if we just come for her. Let's, let's try both of them. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Let's come for her. It's cashmere. It's expensive. I it's am quite sorry. Sad. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was, but there'll be another. Oh, well. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. No. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. Awesome. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. She feels like one of those mean You deserve girls. a better shot. Yeah. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. She apologized. That was me, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. See, that feels a lot better. Like, I feel like she's one of those... Victoria mean, probably really played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. She's like one of those girls that like... Had, I feel like she has like not a no. great childhood and now she's like making up for it. And then when she like breaks down her walls, she's like, oh no, she put it back up. Calling her friend sluts and stuff.
I like the soundtrack for this game. Hurry, Courtney! Courtney, where are you going? Oh, paper towels. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so is long. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Uh, HIV and AIDS aren't just initials on a poster. Hold on, can you read this? Okay, uh, these are serious life-threatening diseases and nobody is immune from exposure. Get the facts now. For more information, choose heal. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Choose health at choosehealthadmin.ed. Uh, backpack was stolen. There are invaluable images of my late cats, RIP, so I would appreciate the quick return of my possessions and feline memories. You have my address. Uh, to the bitch that stole my Franju new face cream. That was expensive shit, and I need it for my acne. I know exactly how it exfoliates, and I'll be watching your skin the second it clears up. <laughs> Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Unlike Big Brother, watch you. An intrusive surveillance system could be installed by the end of the school year at Blackwell Academy. Members of the faculty and student council will hold a public forum to inform and discuss this important issue. Please come speak out against the, this invasion of privacy. October 18th, 5 p.m. Student Center, Main Hall. Cool. Oh, it's a map. Where's our dorm? Welcome to Black Hill. 219? That was the that was the number of my freshman year dorm. That's so cool. Okay, cool. Red rum. <laughs> Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Who lives there? Who lives in 217? Welcome to Black Hill. Stella? Okay. I don't know if we've met Stella. No boys allowed. Cool, cool. Juliet, extreme reporter. This week's in Blackwell Tomes, seriously, who cares? That's sad, okay. Stomp him Bigfoots. Is it big feet? Or is it Bigfoots? What is the plural of Bigfoot? I need, I need to know this. Okay, be alert on campus. Uh, uh, always be aware of location. Cool. Uh, for sale bike. Geek girls. Oh, Neil Gaiman's pretty good. I like him. Uh, the usual fine dragon shit. No boy wizards or sad vampire fiction allowed. No boys, period. Oh, uh, Brooke. Oh. Looks like Brooke does that. Thanks for the warning. I'm oh, the Vortex Club coming soon. Thank you. Bigfoot. Women's bathroom. No boys allowed. There's a fire alarm. At least that's an alarm from this century. <laughs> no balls allowed. Thank you for that one. Uh, don't be a zombie. They live. Uh, social media has a time and place. Don't let life flash you by. Message from the Clearhead Foundation. Thank you. Hmm. Swimming. Will Bing for Jesus. Aw. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Can we draw? Oh, neat. This action will have consequences. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Be the change you wish to see, Gandhi. Okay, oh, pie. That's pretty neat. This is Brooke's room. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. The forks brought to you by a screaming tomato. Okay, our room is 219. Ooh, we have a sleep. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Let's draw on it. Obvious, but true. This is our room. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. It's dark as fuck in here. You got a light switch? Oh. 
Howdy, mom. You got you got a text. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can make it. Eat. She didn't even text her mom back on her birthday, bro. Okay, Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this, Mom. Probably not even gonna text her back. Oh, howdy, Dad. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still gonna go check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Thank you. Okay, hey, Max, you're around. Always your Hey, do you wanna get tea later? Absolutely, but forget before I take my out. That. Just look at that one. Okay, cool. Oh, I didn't go meet. Oh, I had to get his flash drive. That's why we're in the dorm room. Okay. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congruate on your taste and eagerly await in-depth review of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultravix. Warren G. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. That is so funny. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, let's lay down. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Well, that's neat. Okay. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Awesome. So cheesy, but... It makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Oh, that's cute. Oh, let's play some music. Let's see what's in this drawer. Oh, Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Aww. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Cartier Bresson, Thoinot, Hamilton, the greatest. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. <laughs> Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your dress so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Cool. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now, I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV cult classic and fucked up films on a fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now, can you quickly explain to me how the camera works? I'm seeing you more in the One day I'll organize my film collection. 
One day I'll get an actual HD TV. We have a plant. I haven't forgotten you, yeah, little Lisa. Lying. Yet. Let's water Lisa. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. This action will have consequences of watering the plant. The... Okay. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Instant film is so damn hard to and find and expensive now. Of the expression, Baby Mama but I can't help it. I'm analog, <laughs> not digital. <laughs> I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Birthday Maxine, we'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day. We miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, your mother and father, X. Cookies? Are we hungry? I love that mom sent me a fat <laughs> box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. Well, that's neat. She sure knows how- It's not oh, exactly sorry. pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Eight, I'm missing interacting with anything in here. Sticky note, laptop, DVD. We did that. Pen it. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Yeah, go Thunderbirds. All right, so let's go to Dana's room to go get the flash drive. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot Ooh, in there. Well, I needed to go in there. Howdy. Is Welcome there a to problem? the real drama queens of Blackwell. Yeah, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Oh, well that's Ouch. unfortunate. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to oh, you now. Bro. What's my last name? Oh, uh, Julia... Mason. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly oh, sad. Shit. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. What's your name? By the way, it's Juliet Watson. Watson. Uh, looks like we're rewinding. We found out things about Juliet. Hey, Juliet. Today. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Juliet Watson, you be nice. Yeah. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name you at are all. Ridiculous. Uh, of course I do. <laughs> Thanks. We did not. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you go uh, out, I will scream. How, how do you know? know? What's the Victoria proof? Chase. You know her. Oh, Victoria you could say told that. you that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria. Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. To her room we go. Yeehaw. Let's go enter. All right. What's on your laptop? I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Uh, Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I could do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass, believe me. Oh, sorry, dumbass. Believe me, and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Julia deserves this for sledding Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. DC. Hooray, right, let's print that shit so we can get our flash drive. 
Oh, where'd your printer? This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. You know what I didn't check out? This is probably super dumb. Um... I know there's a setting in uh, Life is Strange True Colors that um, you can turn on. Victoria light. is a real Jefferson groupie. on like streamer settings and it won't play Dimka songs. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. That's rough bro. Uh, the subject line bitch down is my favorite part of the email. Oh I didn't even read that part. Uh... Boom. This is the email I need oh, to show that Juliet. Is so funny. I love now that I have to print, print this fast and get the hell out of here. And now we know Taylor's last name is Christensen. In case we need to know any other information about other people here. Look. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Camera, gal- ooh, what's the gallery letter, Luke? Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Dear Miss Chase. Unlike me. Oh, sorry. Dear Miss Chase, thank you for your submission to the Prof Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in future endeavors. Best Amanda Croft, owner of Croft Gallery, Eugene, Oregon. Okay, that's... Speaking of selfies... That's a lot of selfies. Let's mess them up. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, oh, a pattern is emerging. R.I.P. Let's photo that, but then we might have to... If there, if it has consequences, then she knows it was us. So we're just gonna rewind, but we got the picture. Okay. We did get it. Oh. She got shoes and clothes. Who is... Who's just screaming on the other side? Looks like she's written like UV marker. All right, be okay, cool. Oh, it's, it sounds like frustration for Juliet. Look at this email. Juliet, read this. Read it and weep and let Dana out, please. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are, and I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. I don't know if we know Dana's last name. I hope she doesn't ask Almost me because I don't know it. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. There's that damn flash drive. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Thank you for that. Uh... Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. That's a lot and of yes, ever. Max, so terribly wrong. Uh, Juliet, hey girl, thanks for the party favors. Trevor, what up, Dana? Justin, couch locked with Super Mario. If you want to come over, we can play as a... 
play or go far, let me know. I'll be here. Oh, that was down here. Okay. That's Trevor. Nick. Let's see. Um. This is both sad and pathetic. You know, I still got writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. I saw how, you saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know. XL Logan. What did they, what did he puss out on? It would be a cool sticker without the words. Oh. That looks like a home pregnancy test. That is exactly what that looks like. Oh, uh, Max, that's Ooh, mine. We got caught snooping. Thank you. We got caught snooping. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Oh, jeez. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. Let's rewind. We but I could rewind and make it up to her. That is true. So we're not going to pick it up, but now we know about it. Let's look. I assume Dana kept the appointment. It was five days ago. Let's talk to Dana. She's probably really sad about Logan. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Um, I heard a rumor. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other? Deadbeat dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. Ooh. And it's not Zachary. That's not my Sorry business. to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Um, okay. Let's see. Any other maternity book? Good lord. Dana really was on her own. <laughs> I don't I heard remember who told you I was pregnant. Oop. How to be a great baby mama. Thank you, radio host, Dr. Bill. It's a national bestseller, everybody. Oh, what's up? Warren, uh, he's typing. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. <laughs> the more I text, the longer I take on my way by. Let's see. Okay, let's go leave the girls' dormitories. Okay, let's see. Fuck this shit! Oh, she just got popped. That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Ooh, okay, I just hit the button. Sorry. Hey, Alyssa, move your head. Move your if head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. This action will have consequences. Now that's what I call instant karma. So, oh, what is That would be nice oh, if the, the water thing. blossomed Victoria into a nicer person. <laughs> so, do we do we keep her from getting smacked or do we just do we just let her stay smacked? What do we think? I mean, personally, me, I would wish somebody would tell me if I was about to get smacked in the head with a football. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Yeah. Loser taking it out on trees and stuff. Victoria. 
By the way, thanks. But we're not friends. <laughs> okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay. Wait. Look. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Oh. This looks like it's important. I would just take a picture. I'm sure the Flash will alert them and tell them what we're doing. So maybe just intervening without the photo would go better than just the picture. But then if we had to tell somebody, we would have proof that he's out here cornering her at the front of the dorms. So it could go one of two ways. We could either intervene ourselves or not. Nah. I don't want to hurt. I don't know. If we take a photo, we might hurt somebody's feepees. Hmm. We can always rewind. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. <laughs> I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. This I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. I think that's okay. Maybe I should rewind and uh, mind my own business? I, th I think that's okay. Yeah. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Well, I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Max feels good about that last decision. I think we should. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Yeah. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Who toilet papers a bike? Who toilet papers a bike? My question. Percent closer. Pile of. Pile Damn! Of somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. 
Hmm. Oh, is that a doggo? Howdy, partner. Can I pet you? That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. Oh, if it's Cujo, I don't want to pet it. He sounds scary. Let's draw. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. Oh, I hate when people do that shit to me. That's happened to me before. This action look. We're just gonna take a photo. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. But I might just erase it because I don't want to get yelled at. Also, that shit kind of hurts my feelings when it happens to me. Howdy, Warren. How's it going? Oh, Warren's car. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? The booty booty? God bless America. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur that does sound better than thief ha ha make sure you watch cannibal holocaust seen it i was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too <laughs> so you're sensitive ouch that sounds awful the way you say it how so Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. That's right. Oh, God. You need a sensitive woman to kick <laughs> your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip if and I fast, lucky. we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk, talk to somebody. Let's talk just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Bizarro. Jefferson's class today. This lingo I mean, is crazy. life changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh, how are you? One of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Ooh. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> They try. He's got some issues, You should bro. talk to somebody, Nathan. Yo. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. 
Take a step back, Nathan step Prescott. Step off, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away yeah. from her, dude. Punch him. Oh, that was, that, that was. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom. <gasps> Twin Peaks license plate. Max? Chloe? Oh shoot, dude. No way. The best friend. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! <laughs> Elvis. Man. Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. It did escalate really fast. So how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Mm. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Broken? Oh, man, are you serious? Wow, no. haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Okay, she said tunes. It won't play without any power. Oh, well, let's find the power strip. 
on. Hole to another universe. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Too pretentious. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Uh, auto repair, 3,006. Oh, sorry, $3,006, so I'm, don't, don't mind me, I'm just out of reading. Um, let's see, looking for... Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. You got any disc in your laptop? Bag? She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Jeez. Okay. Um, I think this junk swallowed her discs. Oh no. Okay, let's see. Two parts of poster. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Okay, neat. Let's see. Um, trash can search. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Um, okay, Oregon State Police written warning. Traffic ticket, parking infraction, parking warning. The question is, does she pay any of them? Probably not. Box. Hello, box. We found a CD, boys. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. Kick the world's ass? You would ass. laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. <laughs> now. When did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Aww. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel, gone. Can you put on some music now?
Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I shouldn't bug Chloe now. Plus, I need those tools. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. This looks like a laundry bag. Is it a laundry bag? And it reeks like dirty laundry. Amazing. Gross. Old cardboard boxes. Dude, you broke, broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. We had such a blast drawing these together. She's a killer with Chloe and Max. In the kitchen, make Our girls, Max, Chloe, and Super Kitty, Freedom, Eagle, Cosmic Snail, Black Hole, and Danger. Oh, wait, 2007. I'm singing songs about the future. Dark. I cannot see anything. Oh, I need to hit the light switch. Do I really this is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe. But here I am. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Oh Did shit! Die? Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Oh wait, wait. Okay, well. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Maybe it'll get out by itself. We'll see. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Aww. Joyce has a little shrine to William. 
Her new husband may not be such a douche. Aw. And Chloe. Act, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Whoa. Apocalypse self-help. Dog tags. Sweet. David Matson. Oh, this is the, uh, the security guard at the school. Oh my. Oh, Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. Joyce still works at the diner, and Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. The prices are late on their bills. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Mm. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I really like this picture. It's a good picture. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem, that guy isn't asking. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I'm gonna switch out this time anyway. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Hmm. Joy still works at Two Wheels Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Two Wheels Diner. Cereal milk, peanut butter, chocolate, cake, oil. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. Mm. 
William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I want to know why they I wonder if he was the last one to use this. Their ketchup and mustard? Outside on the concrete. But also, I want to talk about how their siding has gr burn marks on it. I wonder if David caught the house on fire. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. Oh, that's so sad. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. Oh. Oh, hell yeah, we're gonna sit on the swing. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. It's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a ship wreck now. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. That's rough, bro. There is a gun missing. The homie yes. doesn't miss. Score. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Wait, you can't reach it? You can just lay on the floor and like, stick your arm up. Let's see. There. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Mm. Brilliant, Max. Brilliant. I mean, I would be kind of afraid to stick my arm underneath a cabinet in somebody's garage because I don't like spiders, though, so. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Screwdrivers. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. This action will have consequences. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do oh, Chloe wow. and Joyce even know about this?
I want to look at. I want to look at the map. The map. The map. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. Oh. I wonder why. He's gonna put the keys. Plenty on putting the cameras like literally everywhere. Cool. That's a lot of cameras. Uh, no password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Mm. I mean, I, I found the tools, Max. But... Mm. I wonder the if the tools might be in this cupboard. Corned beef. Shit! Uh, Butterfingers! That motor oil. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. 3.17 p.m. black. Who's mm -hmm. gonna clean it up with? Or? I don't want to look at these creepy photos oh, again. Okay, sorry. Why does David have them? I'm sorry, Max. I didn't mean to freak you out with the howdy, dear. Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. That's so sad, bro. Food. Look. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred <laughs> years. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Cool, now it's open. I'm eating jelly beans and I'm afraid I'm getting the bad flavors. The popcorn jelly beans are the worst, in my opinion. I hate them. Um, I will literally, I would rather eat any other flavor than popcorn. <laughs> Cappuccino ones are not half bad. They taste kind of like burnt food though. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Mm, yeah. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Oh yeah, we did. Absolutely, Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. How scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. 
swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Aw. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. It's a good Thank picture, you. though. This camera I'd is so too. sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> What's up, Matt? Yo. This day couldn't get any stranger. Fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes! Break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off! Turn it off! How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Brother. Dude, the music's not even on! Get him, asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Just hide. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Move the lamp. Oh, Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Okay, Don't closet. get smart. Hi. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Um, step in. I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home, especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. Oof. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're He's a fucking so rude, security bro. guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Mm. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hick hole. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. 
I have to think about my own future. Let me check out something really fast. Okay, let's talk to Chloe. You're giving me a look I haven't seen for a while? What's the problem? Um... Why steal a gun from your stepdad? You know you're gonna get busted. Or somebody like Nathan will bust me with a cap. Screw that. I need to cover my own back. Your stepdad won't let you off the hook that easy. What the hell does he need another gun for? To mow down Bigfoot cheerleaders? That's rough. This is all <laughs> just so scary. I know, Max, but I do feel safer having a 9mm in my pants. <laughs> God, um... Can you actually use it? After about a hundred online videos? Hell yeah. Hell just yeah. <laughs> don't online keep it in your pants, for the okay? win, brothers. Max, I'm not looking for trouble. I just want protection. If anybody in this country should have guns, it should be women. Okay, well. She's... We got anything else? Everybody lies, no exceptions. Think like a man, one day your life will flash before your eyes. Cool. What was this say? I'd rather have a life of oh wells than a life of what ifs. Just gotta let go. I like the whole to another universe. That's pretty neat. But we're leaving out the window, homies. Onward and upward. We go. Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Indeed, trash. Well, that's really pretty. Hold on, I can't go over there. That is so pretty, though. Use clash on trail dream. Oh, oh, neat. Okay. oh no, not the picture. Are you thanks for today? I'll call back later. Okay. No problem. You have your big secret. Birds are so lucky that Chloe's step douche better not cause me trouble. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. I don't remember this at all, but it seems like it's been here for a long time. Where'd the bark? I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Cute little squirrel. You and me. Stare contest. I win. Um. Oh. 
I got you. Oh, it's a haiku. A tree haiku? And this way now, we're pretty. Face the autumn tree and never look back. Hmm. Is that Bigfoot? Clearly. The Bigfoots <laughs> are everywhere. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. How long has that been here? Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I should have taken his photo when he flipped out on Kate today. That would be killer blackmail material. Let's bust his ass. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah, I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh, other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. 
not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just saw it. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. And now it's snowing. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. 